Hello everyone, in this video we're going to install the Linux Evolution ROM and we're gonna have a quick review at the ROM's features. So Linux Evolution is a stock based custom ROM based off DXLF1 with a black and white theme and many cool features added to it. So let's begin. So let's start off by downloading the ROM zip file as well as the update zip file. Currently, uh, as I made this video, for now there is just a second update version 2. So download that zip file to your SD card as well and once you have downloaded it, power off the phone. Wait for the small vibration. Once that happens, the phone has been powered off. And what you do after that is you boot into recovery mode. So hold the home button, power and the volume up. So after this you need to boot into Kogumot Recovery, so choose a plugin from SD card and choose the CWM zip file. In case you don't have it, I have also provided a download link for that in the link in the video description. So download your SD card, flash it, and now once you're here, I would recommend that first of all you wipe data and reset just to be clear, remove everything. then wipe the cache partition there we go after that just go to mounts and storage and make sure that everything is mounted most importantly system so if everything is mounted finally go to install zip from sd card choose zip from sd card now choose the linux zip file so here it is this should be the file name choose that and choose yes install And okay, so I'll be back once the installation is complete. And okay, as you can see, install from SD card complete. After this, simply press the back button and then choose a reboot system now. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for you to see the boot animation. I'm gonna speed up the video so you can see the boot animation. There we go, as you can see, great boot animation. So let's set up the ROM and then we're gonna install the update file. And okay, this is the setup screen, as you can see, this is the background of the setup screen and we have a black, uh, a white battery and white status bar. Basically, the status bar is all in white color, the icons. Anyways, tap on the Android guy. And uh, let's skip all of this stuff here. So here's our home screen and everything else. This is the launcher, it has the stock Samsung TouchWiz icons as you can see. But we can't judge yet because we haven't flashed the update. This is the notification screen, we're gonna go into detail about this stuff in just a bit. Anyways, let us power off the phone again. And we're gonna boot into Coco Mode Recovery again. So choose power off and this time as you can see we have an extended power menu. So you can just choose recovery from here. Choose OK. And you'll be in recovery mode. So this ROM does not use a custom kernel, that means that you still have your old kernel. If your old kernel does not have Coco Mode Recovery, you need to flash the zip file again. So it should take you to Stock Recovery, choose the play update from SD card and once again choose CWM zip file. Once again the same old procedure but this time just make sure that everything is mounted. Choose install zip from SD card and this time choose the update file choose yes there we go done within seconds and choose reboot system now so to not waste time i'll be back once the phone has booted up and everything is loaded up so here i am after the update this is what we get let us unlock the phone so the launcher still is the touch with launcher but a bit modified as you can see and we've got the pretty much basic Google applications here, such as Gmail, um, Google search, 
the gallery app obviously my files other than that stuff such as quick office samsung apps and so on has been removed so um let's start off by taking a look at the notification screen so users who firstly install this rom as you uh, will notice that there are absolutely no toggle buttons and nothing else just a plain notification screen but don't be fooled uh, when you go here swipe to the left and as you can see here you have the toggles basically the little toggles all of them are themed in black and white as well as some other things here we have a switch as you can see it changes the top things here then we've got a shortcut to settings and a shortcut to Linux parts. We're gonna have a look at these in just a bit. Also, here's a cool little trick which you can do. Now, in the status bar at the top, when you slide to the left, you decrease the brightness. When you swipe to the right, you increase it. So that's a really cool feature for quickly uh, changing the brightness of the phone. So obviously, most of the apps are also tinted in black and white. As you can see, they all have the black and white style. The memo, the clock, the calendar sort of seems changed as you can see as well as the math house app and the settings the settings have a transparent background but they still have the black and white styles you can see from the icons so when you first open them up we basically have the same old settings here which is the top part here modified we've got wireless and networks bluetooth uh, separated and then we have more for the mobile data network settings anyways at the top here as you can see we've got tabs with more advanced settings so first of all we've got ui settings from here as you can see you can change the notification toggles basically here you can change their positions who is first for example you can put the wi-fi last the data first and so on you can also arrange you can arrange them as well as hide some or show some then we've got the status bar which basically looks like irity tweaks as you can see you can change the color up there you can show a battery bar signal options battery options show battery percent and stuff just that and we've got owner profile here now this is something quite cool now as you can see here you can actually change the owner picture select one from the gallery for example i'm just gonna choose some picture and as you can see this is my owner profile quite cool now this is where your profile picture and your name has been is being displayed as you can see this is where your owner picture will be showed and your owner name here so that's a really cool feature then we've got the walk screen settings here basically you can change the walk screen style and some other stuff some other settings related to it then we've got the GUI settings which is the changing the animation speed and so on basically you, you you might have seen these options in the lidroid app you also have compatibility mode here added haptic feedback and button behavior some settings you should be familiar with then we've got cpu control we've got cpu control which opens up the nofru cpu control app and cpu spy that opens up the cpu spy app in the last tab here we've got some information obviously on the system and on the phones just build number linux rom which version you're using kernel version android version model number status and a huge logo here at the top looks cool one more thing i forgot to mention is that obviously this rom comes rooted as you can see we have the super user app here and we forgot to take a look at the music player actually so let's have a look at how it is themed so i'm just gonna start up a app, uh, song here it doesn't really matter which one i'm just gonna choose this one so this is the background which it uses as you can see it looks neat let us also take a look at the wallpapers provided with this rom one press on the home screen go to wallpapers wallpaper gallery and from here as you can see these are the wallpapers which we get there's quite a lot of wallpapers here all of them have the linux name on them and lastly let us take a look at the task manager I won't press the home button as you can see these are the recently opened apps you cannot swipe them to remove but still you can quickly access your, your recent apps over here and at the top at the bottom we have the task manager button 
we have a huge X here to end applications then we've got the install applications the RAM now as you can see the whole user interface is in black and white of this ROM even the context menus of the power power menu as you can see everything is in black and white so before we end this video I would just like to let you know that this ROM it's not just a black and white theme, it has a lot of stuff under the hood such as pure audio mode added, busy box installed, um, boot prop tweaks, it has been given some boost in the performance and many more stuff. This ROM feels very light when you use it, everything is working just fine. If you have any bugs to report, please leave a comment in the blog link or better yet, if you have an XDA developers account, leave a post in the forum thread here and the developers will take a look at it. So that is all, I hope this video has helped you install this ROM as well as give you a quick preview of what the ROM contains. If you want to download this ROM, visit the link in the video description and download it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.